In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint zombies for Warhammer, D&D, or other tabletop games like Zombicide. The first step will be priming, which was covered in an earlier part of the series. Use whatever color you want, but I like using white. The second step is to coat all skin areas of the model with Castellan Green. Don't worry about being sloppy, because more colors will be added later. Once that dries, Nurgling Green will be layered over to brighten the skin's green hue. A thin layer of Kidian Flesh Tone will be put on top of the green, and any bleed through from the green gives us that sickly green color that we're looking for. For now, we'll be moving on to the base. I put on some PVA glue, sand, and painted it black using Abaddon Black. I then used Gorthor Brown to make the sand seem more like grave dirt. I also fixed up the feet with the same three colors as before. After the feet, I used Mornfang Brown to coat the coat or vest that the zombie is wearing. On my other zombie, I used Thunderhawk Blue for the pants. On this one, I decided to use Rust Grey. They're very similar in color. The belt was made brown with Rhinox Hide, then I used Pallid Witch Flesh for the stitches on the coat and also for the teeth. For the cleaver handle, XV88 was used. On the white primer, it shows up as a yellowish brown, which is very distinct. After that dried, Lead Belcher gave color to the cleaver blade and the belt buckle. Eshing Grey gave the zombie's hair some color, and then Dawnstone was brushed over top of that. I put Teclas Blue into the eyes to give them a glowing effect, but I thought that was too dark, so I put Lothurn Blue in the eyes as well. All the skin areas received a heavy wash of Reichland Flesh Shade. Once that dried, I put a heavy wash of Agrax Earthshade, my favorite one, over the entire model. This gives it the desired dirty look that I love with my miniatures. Corn Red created some blood on the cleaver, in the mouth, and on a few other random spots on the model. As a final step, I gave the model a spray of Ardcoat Varnish. If you wanted more of a grey or green look, like these pre-painted Hero Escape Zombies, then adjust your skin colors to have more of those paints in them. And here is the completed product! I'm very happy with how each of these zombies turned out, and I hope that you are as well. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub, because it really helps me out. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! The next one will be a zombie for Halloween. Well, I guess Halloween's now in December.